Most of our customers are customers. I mean, once they come in, they're going to come back. And you will too after trying the new Cherry Berry self serve yogurt and more. It's healthy, tastes great, and is Moore's newest dessert option. We'll give it a taste test, but first. We sell a lot of burgers, a lot of burger baskets. Um, that's one of the most popular things. At Boomerang, you can relive the 1950s while enjoying your burger or any number of other delicious items on their menu. We'll take a time warp right after this. A walk through many more retailers will reveal Halloween is rapidly becoming a popular shopping holiday. Consumers are spending ever larger amounts on decorations, candy, costumes, and cards. How much did consumers spend on Halloween last year nationwide? Was it 1.6 billion, 2 billion, or 5.8 billion? Stay tuned, we'll have the answer later in the show. It was called the Fabulous 50s, Elvis Presley, Route 66, jukeboxes, iconic cars, and it all converged at the local diner. And now it does again at the new Boomerang in Moore. A walk into Boomerang might take you back to an episode of Happy Days or the movie American Graffiti, or perhaps your own childhood. That's one good thing about it is being able to talk to people that lived in that generation and can uh, tell you different stories and you know they recognize every picture on the wall and they recognize the songs I mean you know they'll just about every one of them has a story for each picture and a story for each song and there are lots of pictures even before you enter the restaurant you're greeted by a large mural setting the 1950s theme the mural is actually an image of the first boomerang restaurant that opened in Muskogee back in the 60s we're able to collect a lot, lot of 50s memorabilia uh, we, this store, of course, is decorated with a lot of 50s stuff uh, and pictures of the people that were famous in the 50s. There's pictures of the original Boomerang in Muskogee. Uh, just, just a lot of fun stuff and I think it's stuff that people enjoy seeing in their childhood and in the past. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. Even though it's, you know, the 50s, we still get a lot of younger people. Um, you know, me, myself, I'm not, I didn't grow up in the 50s, but uh, I've learned to know a lot of the music, a lot of the people. Um, I think I've heard just about every song that was ever in the 50s. Moore's Boomerang is actually located in an older building that has housed numerous other restaurants over the years. By taking over the space, owners believe they're carrying on a 50s diner tradition. This was a barbecue place, but before that it was a Mexican fast food restaurant. You can't tell that. I mean, and what we try to do is, you know, the 50s diner style back in the 50s, uh, they weren't all stainless steel cars, we have a few of those, but uh, they were just in buildings, people downtown, different buildings, people adapted to restaurants, and that's what a 50s diner's about. They're also about good food, and that's certainly the case at Boomerang. Just take a look at this chicken fried steak sandwich. Somewhere there's a bun on that. A chicken fries. I sell a lot of chicken fries. Um, everyone loves them. At Boomerang, you can get breakfast all day, including a ham breakfast that comes with a huge piece of ham steak. And then there's the burger baskets. We sell a lot of burgers, a lot of burger baskets. Um, that's one of the most popular things. You need to come try it. It's the best place around. I mean, for a burger, we've, we've eaten a lot of places, as you can tell, but uh, they have probably the best burger I've ate. For $4.99, you can get a burger basket with fries and all the toppings. I was in one of our locations yesterday. Guy goes, 
my gosh, I can get all this. In California, this would be five times this. Uh, you know, so our prices, I mean, we, our prices, I think, are we get all the time are the cheapest around. I mean, you're getting value, you're getting quality food, and you're getting it for, you know, a good price. I mean, it's, you can eat for four people and eat it reasonably and, and not break the bank. In addition to the burger baskets, there are lots of other popular diner items like the Reuben sandwich, a signature at Boomerang. They also have all-you-can-eat catfish on Friday nights, piccolos, which are their famous fried pickle slices, and being a 50s diner, great root beer and Coke floats. Right now we've got some different stuff. We've got like some uh, Jones grape soda and cream soda and stuff um, that we can make floats in. But our most traditional one is root beer floats. If you grew up in the 50s, you may be aware of the special terms people said to order things back then. For instance, if you ordered blowout patches with axle grease and a blonde with sand, you'd be ordering pancakes with butter and coffee with sugar. That's how they did it back in the 50s, and that's how they do it at Boomerang. If you're a little unsure, just check the 1950s dictionary in the menu. This restaurant is truly all things 50s, and it's a welcome addition to the more restaurant scene. A lot of happy people. A lot of people, you know, uh, happy that we're here, complimenting on the restaurant, the look of the restaurant, um, food. Um, so many people compliment on the food for the price. Immediately, you know, people started commenting on it, and then business grew, grew, grew rapidly in a, a short period of time, and we've just done tremendous over the last couple of months we've been here. So really been a good, it's really been good for us. So we're very happy, very happy with it. So take a trip back in time to the fabulous 50s. Listen to Chuck Berry on the radio. Sit at the soda fountain and drink a root beer float and soak in a time when things were simpler and tasted really good. It's an escape from the real world that the Boomerang is more than happy to provide. For more about Boomerang Diner, consult the following contact information. When I first came to Moore, there was two buildings zoned for a funeral home, and this is one of them. And this building itself has a lot of history to it. It's where, you know, Bob Howard started out in the automotive business. So, and this, of course, you know, the building that was started out, you know, the Schroyer family had the had the building, and and uh, it's just a lot of history behind it. I, mean, I used to joke and say when I first came to Moore that Moore is kind of like Mayberry RFD because everyone's friendly here. It's uh, we have people actually come in here, get a cup of coffee occasionally just to see what's going on or, you know, stop by and say hi. And, you know, we might have a little lady down the street who comes in with a jar jam for us or someone brings us a little peach or pecan pie just to stop in, say hi and be friendly. You know, it's, it's not really a business atmosphere around here. We're just down to earth folks. What is the total nationwide amount spent on Halloween in 2010? Was it 1.6 billion, 2 billion, or 5.8 billion? The answer, 5.8 billion. One of the fastest growing trends in the restaurant industry is frozen yogurt. You'll find frozen yogurt places all around the metro, but few as refined as Moore's new Cherry Berry. It's the Starbucks of the yogurt. Tim Vandegrift is the owner of Moore's Cherry Berry, along with his wife Nicole. The self-serve yogurt place, dubbed the Starbucks of yogurt, allows customers to create tasty yogurt combinations to suit virtually any taste. Customer controls it all. They grab the cup, they figure out how much they want, they figure out the toppings they want, it's all done by weight. Um, so it's, uh, it's customer controlled and I think that's, what, that's why the self-serve industry is doing so well right now because customers will pay for it if they, if they choose what they're putting in their cup. And you just grab a cup, you look at the flavors that you would like if they're on the wall, there's two in each machine. 
birthday bash cookie monster, and these two can be swirled together with this middle handle. The frozen yogurt flavors at Cherry Berry are one thing that really sets the chain apart. A chocolate, we call it a chocoholic, uh, chili vanilla, which is our vanilla, um, peanut butter, strawberry. We usually carry a sugar-free, um, we usually carry one non-dairy, which is a sorbet. Plus with 12 different flavors, it's going to be kind of hard for anybody to come in here and go, I don't like, I can't find one flavor. After you pick your yogurt flavor, it's on to the dry toppings. And we have pecans and almonds as your nuts, and we have some candy bars and chocolate chips, colored sprinkles and M&Ms. In fact, picking from among the long row of toppings can be an adventure in itself, especially for the younger kids. Families with kids, kids just love to do it themselves. They love to grab that yogurt. They could care less. They, they don't know if it's yogurt or ice cream. They, kids still come in here and go, hey, I want cherry berry ice cream. But it's they get to do it themselves and they get to do the fun things like pour the yogurt in their, their cup and grab the, the nerds or the gummy bears and get the, you know, the, the strawberry boba and stuff like that and they get to do it all and that's what makes the kids like it so much. From the dry topping row it's on to the cold bar where even more toppings are available to flavor your yogurt. We have strawberries and pineapple and blueberries, blackberries, but there's also um, little cheesecake bites to put on maybe a cheesecake flavored yogurt or Reese's peanut butter cup or Snickers. And once you have um, got your yogurt cup all fixed like you want it, you bring it to the scale and weigh it. And then the best part, you eat it. While the toppings can add calories, the yogurt itself is actually healthy for you and makes a good alternative to regular ice cream. It just tastes good. I mean, I'm not a health conscious guy, but I really, really love the taste of it. And most of our customers do too. And if they can get the great tasting dessert as well as have a low fat or non fat alternative, that's just all the more better. And all of this in a very trendy atmosphere with lots of amenities to make for a relaxing visit. We want to keep you here if you want to stay here. We've got HDTVs. Um, we've got a kids area with dry erase tables and the kids can color. We've got free Wi-Fi. Um, we've got comfortable seating. It's just a place, a nice place to hang out if you want to hang out. Or if you're on the go and just want a quick snack, you can be in and out in a matter of minutes. When you do come for a visit, it pays to keep track of what day it is and what you're wearing. For example, Tuesday is Logo Day. Any Cherry Berry merchandise that you've got with you, you come and you get your first three ounces free. Um, it's a big kids day. Kids love to get the bracelets. It's a dollar bracelet and you get three ounces free every Tuesday. It pays for itself on the first time. Um, we are going to a happy hour on Wednesday. Um, so we'll have four to seven and you get, uh, it's buy one, get the second half off. Um, and on Saturdays during football season, we also have OU and OSU day where if you wear any OU or OSU apparel, you get your first three ounces off free. Cherry Berry is the newest addition on the 19th Street Corridor, and that's not by accident. The Vandegrift scoured the metro looking for the perfect spot to open the first Cherry Berry franchise location. All of their research pointed them to 19th Street and more. A good decision based on the feedback they've been getting from more residents. We've got lots of good feedback. Most of our customers are customers. I mean, once they come in, they're going to come back. It's just how, uh, however up to them they want to, how many times a week they want to come, but uh, we have, yeah, it's been great feedback. For more about Cherry Berry, consult the following contact information. Thank you.